According to a recent survey, Albertans could use a bit of a refresher when it comes to health and nutrition. Recently, some research was uh, released from the Canadian Consumer Health Survey, which shows that we're even eating fewer vegetables than we were uh, a few years ago. So Albertans, like Canadians, actually need to eat more fruits and vegetables, which is important for optimal health. Uh, it helps with healthy weight, reducing cancer risk, reduce heart disease. Uh, so for Albertans, we could stand to do that, but so can most Canadians. Sikulik says 60% of Canadians carry extra weight. And certainly you can be heavier and be and have healthy lifestyle, but if you carry a lot of extra weight, it can be the obvious things that can be harmful to the joints. Uh, for some people, it can impair how well you do your job or if you can have work, and that's in the more extreme cases. Certainly, research shows that if you, have, if you carry more weight and you are at a higher weight, it does put you at higher risk for certain chronic diseases. And studies show that people who do carry a lot of extra weight tend to have higher rates of depression and possibly it could affect uh, their mental health. Sekulik recommends keeping track of how much you're eating, either in a journal or using an app. When you record what you eat and what you drink, it actually brings greater self-awareness. And when you are more self-aware of what you're eating and drinking, you tend to self-regulate a bit more. And research shows that. Research shows that people who write down, it could be pen and paper, it could be on an app, it could be on a website, they actually start to tend to eat less and tend to lose weight because of that self-awareness. Once you're aware of how much you're eating, you can then control the portion sizes. One cup of leafy greens, for example, is considered a serving according to Canada's Food Guide. Half a cup of cooked vegetables is considered a serving, for example. So what people can do is once they've served themselves on a plate, is they maybe they and this is, it depends on your level of motivation, but you can actually measure how much you actually are putting on your plate. Because interestingly enough, if you serve yourself on a larger plate, you typically will tend to eat more food. So if you really want to be accurate or get a good picture of how much you're eating, that might be a good first step. Measure how much cereal you're putting in your bowl uh, in the morning, because you know, half a cup of cereal is, uh, half a cup of hot cereal is considered a serving according to Canada's food guide. So see how much cereal you are putting in your bowl, because chances are if you have a bigger bowl at home, you're probably eating two or three times more than you think you are. In Canada, we're eating twice the amount of sodium we need. We can cut this down by eating at home more and eating out less. People tend to eat a bit smaller portion sizes at home and you can control how many uh, prepared foods that, that you are eating, how much sauce you're putting on things like fish sauce, soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, let alone if you salt uh, your vegetables or your pasta or any of the grains that you're eating. When it comes to physical activity, it's recommended people aim for 150 minutes a week. That really will help will help people possibly maintain their weight and reduce their risk of chronic disease. And certainly any exercise specialist that I've spoken with, they always say more is better because our bodies are designed to move and not designed to be still or to be sedentary. Sikulik says when you're choosing a fitness routine, choose an activity you'll commit to. So if going to the gym is not realistic at all and you can't see yourself doing it on an ongoing basis, then taking a look around and seeing what you do. Can you walk to work? Can you get off the bus a couple of stops earlier? Can you commit to take the stairs most days of the week? Perhaps go for a walk break instead of a coffee break or at your lunch break taking, uh, taking a walk. So looking at what's realistic and what you actually enjoy doing. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region. Group Derma Surgery Center's Life Matters is sponsored by Group Derma Surgery Center. Liposuction, laser hair removal, Botox, tattoo removal. Find us online at drgroot.com or by calling 780-482-1414.